created the first hydrogen race car. So we're using hydrogen gas to propel a electric car. To go from electric to hydrogen is a big step and uh, it's a huge develop from there. It's exciting. We see what's happening with hydrogen. We see that's a burgeoning technology and we also feel that we can play our part in pushing that message forward, just like we've done with electric vehicles. We want to create a great sporting spectacle. We want people to tune in and watch this sport and be excited about it. If you do that, this gives us an incredible opportunity to, to push forward the message about hydrogen and talk about hydrogen in terms that people were talking about electric vehicles some years back. The car sports sector for more than 100 years has run off fossil fuels, which is now responsible for about 30% of carbon emissions. Extremely always promised to drive innovation. We've proved what the electric cars are capable of. We've proved how tough they can be, how reliable they, they can be. The opportunities lie in alternative technologies, and alternative technologies include hydrogen. The car itself has gone through huge evolution from our current car, so it should be viewed as a it's a completely different car, it's all, all the chassis has been redesigned to accommodate the fuel cell. We're going to put it through racing paces, so we'll be able to demonstrate to the world that, th that, this, that this technology is capable of that. 1800 kilometres on conditions like this, that's thousands and thousands of kilometres in, in normal use. So we accelerate that development process and that reliability checking processes through racing. In this area, in the center of the car, there will be the hydrogen fuel cell. And then on top of that, we've got the two tanks, which are very well protected. You see there is a carbon cover on top of these tanks and then the steel structure, so that even if you do roll over or if you have a crash with another car, everything is protected inside the cage. We have done everything we could to, to make sure that um, even with the hydrogen technology, we are as safe or even safer than the fully electric car. We have increased the um, travel of the suspension to get more performance uh, in a bumpy terrain. So here you have the massive radiator at the back that is to cool down the, the hydrogen fuel cell. The exhaust of the fuel cell is uh, right there. It's only water going out at uh, 70 degrees or something like that. Every aspect of the, the championship, we look at how we can employ different technology solutions, which we're testing here in the harshest locations. I mean, this is Scotland. We had four seasons in one day yesterday. If you see the performance, you see the crashes, and you see that it's safe and it can be, can be managed in an effective way, then people's perceptions change in hydrogen. Pioneer 25, which is the Extreme H car, is a generation two car. And actually it's just a, a far better performance. So we're not only moving technology, we're improving the car and we're gonna have a much better racing series as a consequence. I saw the car for the first time now this weekend and the upgrades look quite nice. It will be, I think, a little bit heavier, but quite a lot lower, uh, different tires and also different type of suspension so I'm really eager to try it and to be a part of, uh, of this movement now uh, with the hydrogen championship. It's a very good car to drive it's a it's a big car but it's incredible to see how it handles on track and it's yeah it's amazing. Without wars, motorsport is probably the most effective technology development platform. If you look at Formula One, it's brought in traction control, fuel injection, even safety components like wing mirrors and seat belts. What we have is a responsibility as motorsport to, to help create the platform for industries to develop the technology behind that. We actually produce the hydrogen using solar and wind in Saudi Arabia, but we need to get to the economics. So whether that's blue, whether that's pink, whether that's gray, whether that's green, all of those aspects of hydrogen are really important at this moment in time because we need to create an ecosystem. We need to create the right environment for the economics of hydrogen to work, which is about mass adoption. We know ways in which we can produce hydrogen that's going to be green. We know ways in which we can produce hydrogen that's going to be filthy. Uh, the choice is ours and the goal really is to drive it down the right path. In motor racing we always shoot for gold standard, right? So we don't want to compromise and use any lesser form of hydrogen than green hydrogen. 
It's really exciting to race this hydrogen car next year. If I can do what I love, which is race cars, in a more sustainable way, I love to be, to be a part of that movement. <laughs>